Good day everyone, I'm meteorologist Adam Kolpak and we have the same pattern here with high pressure remaining in control, blocking the storminess that's off the coast here. Notice the storms are basically moving from the south to the north. Until this high pressure system moves out, we're going to have the same type of pattern. For the coast, lows will be in the 30s and 40s overnight. We'll have some areas of fog or maybe some low clouds, otherwise a mainly a light wind for tomorrow. There is the possibility for some fog or low clouds in the morning, otherwise more sunshine mixing in with a few clouds. We'll have temperatures in the 50s and possibly 60s for highs as we move inland. Once again, it's the same old story with the inversion, warmer air aloft, cold air trapped at the surface, and there's moisture that is forming. Some locally dense fog we'll be dealing with tonight through tomorrow morning. Freezing fog and mist. Please drive carefully overnight tonight and also tomorrow morning if you'll be out and about. Down towards Mount Shasta City, though, it'll be mainly clear 26 and 20 for Wairika. Our forecast for Tuesday, highs mainly in the 40s and 50s with more sunshine overall down towards Mount Shasta City. We're going to have the fog and freezing fog, low clouds, mist during the morning for the valleys and some more sunshine breaking out during the afternoon. East of the Cascades, it's just going to be chilly, but the air is drier. That's why they're not dealing with any real dense fog right now or freezing fog. 11 or excuse me, 10 for the low temperature for Alturas, 18 for Klamath Falls, 34 above the inversion there for Crater Lake. And your highs tomorrow with plenty of sunshine. We have highs in the 40s and 50s. Some areas getting closer to 60 there for Alturas at 57. Christmas Valley, 55. Your seven-day forecast, as I said, we're still in the pattern of areas of fog, freezing fog, low clouds and mist, especially at night and during the morning hours for the Rogue Valley. Then we have some sunshine breaking out during the day. Remember also that air stagnation advisory is in effect through 4 a.m. Saturday. Highs will be in the 40s to around 50, lows in the 20s and low 30s. It's just drier, though, for the Klamath Basin, but still an air stagnation remains in effect through 4 a.m. Saturday. We'll have sunshine mixing in with clouds at times. Your highs in the 40s to around 50, lows in the teens to around 20. And Mount Shasta City, your highs mainly in the 50s to around 60, lows in the 20s to around 30. We'll have sunshine mixing in with some clouds at times. And for the coast, I did put in a slight chance for some rain or light drizzle on Wednesday with a weak disturbance trying to move in and break down our ridge. Not a great chance. Outside of that, we'll see sunshine mixing in with clouds, maybe some areas of fog and low clouds, especially at night and during the morning hours. Then Thursday and Friday, an offshore flow. So that means warming especially down towards Brookings, so I had highs in the 60s. Another slight chance for rain on Monday. That's way out in the seven-day. Your lows will mainly be in the 30s and 40s.